Hi everybody, welcome back to She Rock Snails. Today I'm doing a marbled tutorial with acrylic that will look like marbled stone. All the stuff that I'm using in today's video is magnetic and I will show you a picture at the end and a list of all the products. First step is to make sure you work a little wetter. Take a ball of each color that you have chosen to use for the design. Remember to make sure they are wet and you have to work quite quickly. Swirl them together really quick with your brush and then lightly dab your acrylic into place. Don't overwork it or you will end up with a smush design and not a marbled effect. If you feel like you need a little bit more color, you've got some blank space, go ahead and do it again. Try to smooth it out as you go so you don't have so much bumps and filing to work. Once you're happy with your marbled, make sure you seal it in clear if you've used a lot of glitter so that you don't file away all your clear. File away all your glitter, sorry, not clear. Use clear to se secure your glitter so you don't file it away. There you are. Now I've prepared some tips to make this a little faster. So I'll put this one off to the side. But what you would do is file it into shape and make it smooth and finish your nail on your client or tip. And this is what it would look like after it's been filed. All right. So at this point is when you're going to start making your stone effect for this marble and we're just going to um, no specific design just you know place it on there um, the, the thicker the better because it, it really adds to the effect of the stone and we'll be smoothing it out after I guess okay that was probably wrong to say not the thicker the better but just if you put it on too thin, you'll have to end up just doing a bunch of coats. So you can just really, the pigment of this is pretty good. It's not, thicker was the wrong word. I just meant generous. So that you actually see the, the color. If anything, any gel is too thick, we all know that that will wrinkle when you cure, but. There you go, so there's a nice little cracked stone line effect there and maybe we'll just add another one down here. Alright, once you're happy with your stone effect, cure it for two minutes. And this is where you can add your foil to the stone. Just push it on the gel, the nail art gel that you've added there. And you can take, if you get any um, on the nail, you can take your your silicone pusher there and just push it off so that it's out of your way. Cure 
for a 30 seconds to make sure the foil sticks to the gel. Now you're going to want to use your top coat only in the lower parts of the nail at first to make sure that you don't have too many raised edges in your design when you're finished. You don't want to have to go back and refile and you don't want your clients to end up with a really thick nail. So try to keep your top coat only on the parts where you didn't do the stone and foil. And flash cure for 30 seconds. Now after you've flash cured, you can just go ahead and put your full top coat all the way on the nail. And if you had a little bit too much on your brush, wipe it off. And cure for your full final two minutes. Once you've cured for the full two minutes, take the nail out of the light. With Magnetic Supreme Finish, you do not need to wipe it with Finishing Wipe After, so your design is just now finished. Thank you very much for tuning in to another tutorial by She Rocks Nails. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit the like button below and subscribe. Thanks, folks. Nail on!